So because I'm going live, I need to notify all of my social media accounts. I'm about to notify my personal Instagram, my so, uh, Snapchat, my business Instagram. I'm literally just posting it everywhere um, on stories and on my actual page so that people can know that I'm going live. You know, I noticed I did lose some followers from posting a lot, but I really don't care. If you don't want to see JHA content, you don't need to be following me anyways because I'm going to be posting JHA all the time. So there is that. But um, I know a lot of people have like anxiety when it comes to posting and they get nervous about posting because they're like, well, I don't want to OD on posting. And it's like, how the fuck else are people going to know about your shit if you don't post? Excuse my language, but you know, that's just... Just, that's just really how I feel about it. So I do post all the time about my business or as often as I can. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I do get fatigued from posting as well sometimes. Um, so there's that. But yeah, right now I'm notifying everybody that like, hey, I am going uh, live. I don't know if people know this. I'm gonna show you because like when I found out, I thought it was pretty cool. So when you post, when you post a video on Instagram, you get the options of like, it'll show you down here, filter, trim, cover. Obviously this is to select the filter. This is to trim how much of the video you want in the video. And then here you have this cover option where you can actually pick what shows up on your profile so that you don't have a funky face like on the actual profile. So I like to play around with this. I don't know, just a quick, cool hack. I don't even know if like, I don't know. Maybe everyone know about that. I didn't always know about that. So thought I'd share it. Okay, so it's 7 p.m. so I'm getting ready to start. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started and start talking and whoever joins in, joins in. First of all, thank y'all so much for tuning in. So what is up? My name is Constance Annan. I'm the CEO of JHA. So JHA has been around for, I think this is going on the third year now. And um, first and foremost, if you didn't already know, we have a YouTube channel. So make sure you are following JHA or subscribe to JHA on YouTube, okay? Just search for Juicy Hair Affair. I upload a lot of informational content in regards to raw hair as well as um, vlogs so that you guys can just see inside of my life. So that is on Juicy Hair Affair's Instagram. So definitely make sure you guys are subscribed. Anyways, um, I guess we can just start off with what led me to want to sell hair extensions. Um, I've been I've been wearing weave all my life, okay? Like all my life. I've been, <laughs> I'm only 23 years old, but I've been wearing weave for a while. And I used to shop strictly on AliExpress. Like AliExpress was my go-to uh, place for hair. And I remember spending so much time looking at reviews. Like I would literally, if I knew I wanted hair for, let's say I wanted hair for my birthday, I would literally spend like six months in advance in advance watching hair reviews okay and um i was watching those reviews i mean we all know you got to watch the reviews because you got to know like okay is this hair gonna be good can i curl this hair can i dye this hair can i do everything that i want to do to this hair is this hair going to perform the way i want it to perform and so i would watch all of these reviews you know i would swear that i watched enough reviews to buy the right texture and lo and behold i would get the hair and it just would not be on point like the hair would be terrible okay um so i was buying hair from my freshman year of high school up until my freshman year of college and I could not find good quality hair to save my life. It doesn't matter how many reviews I watched. It doesn't matter, um, you know, who said the hair was good. I would, you know, obviously I was watching like my favorite influencers and I was watching them wear this hair and it looks so bomb and then I would get it and it wouldn't be good. I went through that for so many years and I was like, you know what? Um, I can't do this anymore. So I stopped buying hair my freshman year of college. Um, for those of you that, you know, have been to school, you already know college you got to start saving your coins. You can't just be spending it left and right on these companies that are going to send you low quality shit. So um, I put a hold on buying hair freshman year in college. And that's when I was like, you know what? I was also in the mindset of starting a business. And I was like, you know what? I might as well just start a hair company. Like for whatever reason, the hair industry is just full of terrible hair. And I need to solve this issue if possible. I didn't know if it was possible, but I was on the search to make sure, you know, I was on the search to see if I could find good quality hair. So, um... I started doing my research it was I spent like a whole summer just reading and so at first I was like all right I'm just gonna sell Brazilian hair I'm gonna sell Peruvian hair I used to love Peruvian hair that was my go-to hair texture whenever I was looking online so I was like I'm gonna sell Peruvian hair and I started doing my research and come to find out Peruvian hair wasn't real Brazilian hair wasn't real okay those were literally just marketing tactics and I couldn't believe it the Chinese companies Aliexpress um, companies were taking hair and just labeling it as Brazilian, labeling it as Peruvian, labeling it as Malaysian to entice the customer, okay? So we were being bamboozled, y'all. To this day, we're being bamboozled. People are still trying to sell Brazilian hair and Peruvian hair. That is not 
actually where the hair is coming from okay um really quickly i just want to share this little background thing about me um i went to school and i was studying spanish in school so i uh studied abroad in argentina argentina is a neighboring country to brazil brazilian women are black um there are some fair-skinned women um not all of them have kinky coarse hair but the brazilian woman i met had coarse hair okay um Anyways, and honestly, I remember meeting a woman and she asked me if I knew where she could buy weave. Like she was Brazilian asking if I knew where she could buy weave. So that just goes to show that Brazilians are not donating hair or it's not um, easy to find hair in Brazil the way it is made to seem in this industry. So let's go ahead and, you know, cancel that out. Brazilian hair is not actually Brazilian hair. Same thing applies for Peru Peruvian hair. Peruvian hair is not actually Peruvian hair. And I'm not trying to get redundant. Let's just get over that fact. All of that is just marketing tactics to entice the customer. Um... I wouldn't necessarily say they are lying, but they're kind of lying. Okay. Um, it's all just Indian or Chinese hair. Okay. The main exporters of hair are Asians. Indians and Chinese are predominantly the ones that are sending hair out. Okay. So um, what these Chinese companies are doing is they're taking Indian hair or Chinese hair and putting their name on it. Now you got to add like now I'm sure you're wondering like, how is it that, uh, Hair can be from China or India, but I can still get it and it'd be bad. Like you'll get the hair and it'll still be bad. So um, when we talk about this Brazilian hair, Peruvian hair, a lot of the times what they do is they take the hair and it is fallen hair. So I don't know if you guys have watched my YouTube videos. I've gone over what fallen hair is. Fallen hair is uh, essentially just scraps of hair picked up from brooms, picked up from the floor, picked up from uh, hairbrushes. Like they're just collecting hair however they can find it. And because the hair is matted, ratted, and tatted, they just got it from anywhere, they have to do something to make it presentable, okay? This is like the cheapest way to go about collecting hair and um, getting into your factory to sell it, okay? So they are collecting this fallen hair. Remind you, it is hair that was picked off of floors, hairbrushes, whatever it may be, and they need to make it look good. So that is when it comes to processing, okay? They will dip this hair in silicone, they will dip this hair in whatever chemicals they need to dip it in to give it that nice shine that we all love. On top of doing that, they are processing the texture. So um, in previous videos and previous posts, I've talked about how um, body wave and deep wave and kinky curl and all of these textures that we are used to are man-made textures, okay? Um, they are taking the hair that was collected off of floors or whatever using different like perm rods if you guys know what those are rollers like they're just using different rods and rollers to make the textures that they want okay so they're doing that as long as processing the hair and this is all what they're doing to make the hair look presentable it looks good on first sight you get the hair the hair is bomb okay sometimes it does have that corn chip, corn chip smell sometimes it stinks but the hair looks bomb okay when you wash the hair that is when the true hair quality comes into play okay you are washing the hair in the silicone the chemicals none of that is meant to stand forever like that is not meant to be a long-term thing okay as you wash the hair as you curl the hair as you straighten the hair as you dye the hair the silicone the chemicals wash away that you wrote away and now we are left with the the quality of the hair so that is basically what is being passed around in this industry okay i really hope that makes sense i'm trying to see what about vietnamese hair so i don't sell vietnamese hair i'm not too keen on vietnamese hair however i do know that because asians predominantly do sell or do distribute and export hair vietnamese hair can be real okay vietnamese hair is um like Chinese hair similar to Chinese hair. not it's obviously not Chinese hair but it's similar to Chinese hair and um you know from what I've seen or from what I've read and watched videos on it's just straight silky hair okay um so back to what I was saying I probably should have just kept talking because I have the tendency to lose my train of thought um okay where was I so um that is what they're sending selling around in the industry okay um and yeah, they're just lying about it. And honestly, a lot of companies are distributing that hair. And I'll say a lot of companies don't know. People did not take the time to do the research because a lot of people just want money. A lot of people just want another source of income. Can we blame them? I mean, you know, I, I would I would hope that they would want to do the ethical thing, but whatever. So they're just selling the hair. A lot of them don't know what it is that they're selling. You're welcome. A lot of them don't know what it is that they're selling. So that is what is being distributed out into the world. Uh, when I found that out, I was like, all right, there's no way I'm selling that because what I will not do is put my name next to something that is bad, okay? I had terrible experiences with um, Brazilian hair, Peruvian hair, and I was not about to have that being passed around with my name, okay? It was so hard for me to uh, 
know that the quality of hair was going to be consistent when it came to processed hair body with our brazilian peruvian body wave deep wave all that kind of hair it is it, i just wasn't messing with it so that is when i found um raw indian hair okay raw indian hair is 100 percent remy hair um this is not to be confused with remy that we see in beauty supply stores okay remy hair is the highest um standard of collecting hair okay that is a word used to de to describe how the hair was collected um rummy hair is hair that was cut in ponytail form the hair is cut in ponytail form because it ensures that the cuticles are aligned and intact okay your hair has cuticles my hair has cuticles all real human hair has cuticles and um the cuticles form like shingles on a hair strand like shingles on a roof like they kind of just sit like this if you look up a picture of cuticles you'll see it and that protects the hair strand and that's what makes the hair strand uh, like that's what that's just what protects it that's the best way I can put it and so really quickly when I talked about chemically processing and the things that they do to process hair when they process that hair they wash the cuticles away okay the cuticles are no longer there and that is why that hair does not perform at its best anyways raw hair is Remy hair okay so we can also talk about how processed hair is non Remy hair because the cuticles are not aligned and intact I really hope this information is making sense to you guys if it is not if I'm talking too fast please let me know and I'll slow down I'll reiterate but um yeah so Remy hair is the hair that you want so let's say this for one if you're not buying hair from me and you're buying hair from somewhere else go ahead and hit them up and be like hey is this Remy hair or non Remy hair if they can't answer that question if they don't answer that question if the question that they like just make sure that they can answer that question if they can't answer that question they don't know what they're selling i don't think you should be buying it okay um if they tell you that the hair is non remy you definitely shouldn't be buying it i mean you can buy it if you want to buy it but they just told you that the hair isn't going to be good quality you always want the hair to be remy okay you always want it to be remy um on top of that let me try to figure out what else okay so the hair is in uh if it's remy hair it was cutting cute cute if it's Remy hair, it was cut in ponytail form. Cuticles are aligned. Cuticles are intact. Um, it's on the verge of being good. Okay. Beyond that, raw hair is also unprocessed. So there are a lot of companies that say the hair is unprocessed. They're lying to you. Okay. They're doing whatever they can do to make you want to buy the hair. If the hair is truly unprocessed, it will not have a body wave texture. It will not have a deep wave texture. It will not have a tight kinky curl texture it will not have a yakky texture like it will literally come in the three textures that human hair actually comes in okay um you can think about the hair on your head think about Susie's hair down the street think about just just think about all the races right now okay hair is basically just straight wavy or curly okay nobody's walking around saying i have body wave hair nobody's walking around saying i have water water wave hair those are man-made textures okay so uh you want raw hair is remy you want your hair to be remy if you like the body wave and you like the water wave and you like all that, then you probably don't want raw hair because raw hair doesn't come in those textures. Um, and it's fine if you want though, if you want body wave, deep wave, all of that, just know that that is processed. So if a company is telling you it's unprocessed, just be aware that that is a lie. I don't even know why they try to tell you it's unprocessed if it is processed. You might as well just be honest about it so you can avoid customer issues and concerns later on. Another thing, another topic for another discussion. Anyways, um... Yeah, so raw hair will be unprocessed, straight, wavy, and curly. Here is curly hair. Another thing to keep in mind, so uh, body wave, deep wave, kinky curl, all those processed textures are uniform, like super uniform. Like you can just tell that the hair is just so perfect, you know? Um, and I've had a lot of people hit me up and be like, well, why does the hair look like that? Why does the hair look rough or whatever and it doesn't look shiny and it doesn't look neat this is just literally raw hair like the hair on our head is not perfect okay each strand is doing its own thing and the same thing can be seen in raw hair so this is curly hair okay this hair is not washed it was looking a little a little dry but it's still still super beautiful still super textured the the texture will not pop until it is washed okay but this is what you can expect okay this is what real raw curly hair looks like if somebody is telling you that they have uh unprocessed curly hair and the curls are so tight defined uniform it is not unprocessed hair okay so this is curly hair you can just see it's kind of just doing its own thing this is what you can expect with real raw hair it looks crazy okay but when you wash it it's on point okay i went to a beauty supply store not beauty supply store i went to get my hair done actually at a salon and when I tell you, everybody in the salon 
was like, what kind of hair is that? Like automatically on site, you can just see that the hair is bomb. And honestly, I feel like I'm all over the place. Sorry, y'all. Um, what was I doing? <laughs> um, honestly, this hair, it looks crazy, but it really looks like real human hair. I mean, the way it moves, the way it looks, it just looks so realistic. It, people will believe it's, it is your hair. People will ask you like, hey, where are you from? Your hair looks, they, they won't even think the hair is weave, to be honest, unless obviously the install looks like a weave or a wig and that's your own thing anyways here is straight hair okay raw straight hair does not come or indian straight hair does not come bone straight some bundles may be straighter than others but for the most part you can expect a light weight okay so this is what straight hair looks like it is not bone straight like you would see a, a process bundle this is what like a probably a process straight bundle would look like um yeah no this is what a real straight bundle looks like, like a real raw and processed straight bundle looks like. I do also want to point out to you guys that all of the hair that I sell is single drawn hair. Um, single drawn and double drawn, okay? There's single drawn and double drawn. Single drawn is tapered ends, like so. Double drawn is like blunt cut, okay? I don't have double drawn hair. It's been super impossible for me to find double drawn um, blunt cut hair. I remember I found one vendor, those prices were ridiculous. Uh, People already don't want to pay for the hair that I sell. At the price I sell it for, there's no way double drawn hair was going to be purchased. And honestly, it's really just hair that was just literally cut. So there's that. But um, yeah, you can expect that as well. I know that all of the hair that I sell is single drawn, so it will have tapered ends. Here is wavy hair. Okay. So rather than a body wave, this is what you can expect with wavy, with raw wavy hair. I will say it kind of like mimics like a natural wave or like a loose wave if we're talking like processed hair textures anyways this is what it would look like and again you can see the ends are um single drawn it is not a blunt cut and that would be double drawn if it was so here is a wavy bundle i'm trying to think what else. oh okay so another thing to note about indian hair is that um so it is Remy hair, it is unprocessed hair, and it is 100% human hair. How do I know it's 100% human hair? Indians actually go through this process called tonsuring. It's a part of their, um, or I, let me say tonsure, I think is actually the correct term. It's a part of their culture, it's a part of their religion. They go in and they actually cut their hair, okay? And they cut their hair in temples, and vendors have the opportunity to auction with these temples to collect the hair, okay? So Indians are definitely distributing hair, or excuse me, Indians are definitely cutting hair and exporting hair, let me say. Um, so I can explain, you know, I know how this hair is being collected. It is being collected in an ethical manner. Um, this is a voluntary decision by each citizen or person or individual that decides to go about this. They decided like, hey, I wanna cut my hair. So, you know, this hair is not being robbed. People are not being ex exploited for the hair. This is hair that is truly being retrieved from the heads of people. So that is also why you can expect um, your raw bundles to vary in texture and color. Like you're not going to have three bundles that are all the same color, that are all the same exact defined curl pattern. Um, they will all vary because just like the hair on your head and just like the hair on my head, we both may have type 4C hair. However, um, both of our hairs are not going to be the same. You know what I mean? Um, you may have softer kinks than me. You may have coarser kinks than me or vice versa. And the same thing applies for raw hair. So you can expect all of your bundles to vary a little bit, but it'll all come together to uh, create a natural head of hair. Um, while I'm in here, if you guys are in here, have any of you guys ever had raw hair? If you guys have had raw hair, go ahead and leave in the comments and, you know, attest to what I'm speaking. Let them know that it is true. Raw hair can look a little funky. Like when you look at the three different textures apart, you're gonna be like, well, oh my God, they don't look the same because we're so used to processed hair looking the same. But when you put it all together, it looks beautiful. And I was telling y'all when I went to a salon, people were raving, like I could not, like, I, I wish I was hyping, you know, how much they were raving. I actually, I'm the kind of person that kind of just likes to sit quiet when I'm getting my hair done. And uh, everybody was asking like, where'd you get your hair from? What kind of hair is that? Oh my God, that's the nicest hair I've ever seen. Like, I mean, it speaks for itself. Raw hair truly does speak for itself. Thank you. So she's so elegant and speaking to it. She loves it. Shorty knows what it is. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think what else I need to let you guys know. If you guys have any questions about raw hair, don't be shy. Like, I'm literally here to answer questions. I, I, you know, I made a video one time talking about how I remember what it was like when you want to when I wanted to buy from a company and companies were not answering none of the questions I had. And I thought that was absolutely ridiculous because if I'm buying 
shouldn't you want to cater to me? Um, <laughs> I'm all about customer experience. I mean, first of all, I didn't work in so many different restaurants and things like that. So I know customer service is important. And on top of that, I've been a consumer. So I also know that like, if you have a question that needs to be answered elsewise, you can't even move forward with getting to the next step in the buying process. Um, so if you have a question, ask. Like, you guys are more than welcome to ask. I'm trying to think of common questions. Okay, so people are like, so is virgin hair, I had somebody ask me, is Indian virgin hair the same as raw virgin hair? And uh, the word virgin is like being thrown around for anything nowadays. Uh, virgin was originally used to describe hair that was 100% unprocessed human hair. Virgin was once used to describe what raw hair is. Um, people got in the industry and just started calling it whatever they want. People got in the industry and just started calling any kind of hair virgin hair. And so uh, whoever it was decided to take the initiative to begin making the differentiation between the two by calling virgin hair, like by calling processed hair virgin hair and by calling true 100% unprocessed hair raw hair. So that is the difference, okay? Um, if somebody is calling their hair virgin, for the most part nowadays, they're meaning that it is processed. I mean, if you see a body wave in the name of the texture, if you see a deep wave in the name of the texture, if you see a kinky curl in the name of the texture, if you see any of those names, it is processed. Whether they call it virgin or not, it is processed. Um, if you are looking for real raw hair, the only textures you should be seeing on the website are straight, curly, and wavy. Not deep curly, not deep wavy, literally wavy, straight and curly. How often should you co-wash your hair if you have wavy or curly texture? Great, great, great question. Per, uh, personally, for straight, wavy and curly, in my opinion, when, you're, when we're talking J&J raw Indian hair, I say co-wash your hair every week. Once a week, set aside a day and co-wash your hair. Um, as far as shampooing, you can go a little bit longer. If you know you're gonna be like a product junkie, which I do not recommend, but if for whatever reason you wanna use products, um, you may need to shampoo your hair on a weekly basis because as the hair collects um, products it will you may notice like some tangles or snags okay so the cleaner the hair the better it will perform co-wash your hair on a weekly basis shampoo your hair on a two-week basis okay you may be able to stretch the shampoo if you like if you don't use a lot of products you may be able to go three weeks without shampooing um <laughs> this is bad for my straight hair i have gone like months without shampooing um but i honestly don't put anything in it and it still performs at its best so uh, again co-wash on a weekly basis every week go ahead and condition i just do sundays on sundays that's when i condition everything um and as far as shampooing every two weeks i try to shampoo and every um yeah every two weeks i try to shampoo that's it sometimes i can leave, push the shampoo but if not i'll just do it every two weeks the best way to wash your new bundles um do i yeah i don't okay the best way to wash your new bundles is i would leave it in the leave it in these ties right here and literally just apply first of all i wash i condition and shampoo the hair before i send it to you guys so if you get the hair from me there's no need to go in with shampoo you can but that is not necessary i do highly recommend co-washing it because as it sits in packaging it does get dry and for your for, for your install like your fresh new install you deserve to have the hair popping and performing at its best so i would just wet this hair with um i like to wet it with warm water lukewarm water uh, warm water opens up the cuticles on the hair. Okay, go in with a conditioner. I you let's go get the shampoo. Hold on, that was a really good question. I'm gonna go get the conditioner that I use. Okay, so the live is now over. Um, I'm going to edit this vlog. If you guys would like to see the entirety of the live, make sure you head on over to Juicy Hair Affair on Instagram. Follow Juicy Hair Affair at Juicy Hair Affair, and the live will be there. It is currently posted, so you guys can watch that. It'll be up there forever. Um, I think that concludes this vlog. If you made it this far into the vlog, if you're watching this weekly content, that means you fuck with JHA. So make sure you subscribe to JHA on YouTube. Don't forget to like, comment, um, show love. Follow my personal Instagram at Black Mocha, B L A C K M 0 C H A. And um, that's all I have for you guys. Peace.